back to work. Go on. Hey, everybody. Gears here with a box from the infamous Darth Hare of the Rebel Legion. This is an X-Wing helmet kit. Let's open it up and take a look at what it's got. The Darth Hare offers a couple versions, pre-built and kits. The kit was $120 or so. Uh, with $20 shipping. No, $140, $145 with $20 shipping. Or you can get it pre-built and painted by him for closer to $200, I think. Definitely a reasonable price if you don't want to do it yourself. And there is a lot of stuff in here. Haha, <laughs> the visor, nice. Oh, that's big. Wow. Nice, all vacuformed off of a, uh, I think he's got an actual APCH or APH6 helmet that he worked this from. Nice clean edges, there will be some cleanup to do. And a couple strips of plastic for the Mohawk. Let's take a look at the individual parts. You got the helmet halves. You got the Mohawk top. You've got a central inner helmet bucket that's pre-drilled and I'll talk about that in a little bit. One bag of small goodies. Uh, I definitely want to see what this guy looks like here. It looks like this is probably painted with a uh, clear yellow, originally being white. There's some air bubbles, or probably paint, I expect, little paint bubbles on there. Haha, <laughs> sweet. This guy here is a real nice piece. So there's the inner helmet lining, complete with ear cups and that's gonna hold it on my head. Leo, let me open up this little bag and we'll see what else is here. This rubber U-channel goes around part of the front side of the helmet. We got the chin strap. Or rather here's the strap and here's the actual chin piece. A couple rivets, a few washers, the other part of the chin strap, the front of the mohawk, that's a really nice heavy piece. This must be cast resin. Couple little pits, but that's alright. That's easy to fix. DH P slash FX. Uh, and this guy here is for the little microphone. It's an optional piece. Got some black stripes. And various water slide decals, it looks like, for uh, decorating the helmet up. Lots of them. Sweet. I don't know if I'll be using these or painting things, in which case I would probably scan these and create uh, templates. And then, uh, and then a little business card. Awesome. Let's get these back in the bag. And I'll get another bag so these can remain separate. Oh, let's get this pinstripes in. Very happy. Very worth it. Nice solid plastic. Not quite .060, definitely bigger than 040. This is solid stuff, and it's definitely going to uh, attach together nice and sturdily. The rivets are holding for this piece on. And it definitely would probably have a little trouble getting glued because this is very thick plastic. This is much thicker than 
the helmet piece itself. There's a couple soft details in here. I might actually drill those out and make those tighter looking once I get some research going on. Or I may just actually throw this together and see how it goes. Once I get some primer on this, we'll see what the surface is really like. There's a couple shadows that indicate some possible slight warping going on, but that won't be an issue. Something like this edge will need to be trimmed out just ever so slightly. And I believe the U-channel goes around somewhere on the bottom here. Maybe it goes on the top, I'm not sure offhand. Darth Hare does have a YouTube channel. He shows how to put these together, plus a lot of other stuff as well. So uh, I'll link to that. You can check it out. If you're in the Rebel Legion, you definitely need a helmet. It should probably go together like that once you include the actual uh, strip here. Let's see. So if that goes there like that, then this is going to go here like that. So definitely a bit of room in there. There's a couple guys that make helmets. Uh, from everything I've read on the forum, this is definitely one of uh, the more desirable ones. And I'm really glad. It takes a couple weeks for him to put these together once you pay. Not an issue. That's kind of standard when you're talking about garage kits of any kind overall. The way this guy works is that uh, there's a couple holes there in the dome. This goes here, the rivets go through there, and then this will actually slide up and into, which is a more recent modification that he's made for the piece. Very happy. So thank you Jeff, Rodriguez, Darth Hare on the Rebel Legion. Have a look for him. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.